Hi everyone and welcome to Cloud Safari. In this uh, quick video, I want to answer a question which is, does Azure SQL DB have a limitation for the TimDB usage per session? Uh, the reason behind this, I got a question and it was mentioned in some uh, uh, unofficial blogs, like not Microsoft blogs, that Azure SQL database has a limitation uh, per session for the TimDB usage. If the TimDB usage per session is using more than five gigs, then the session will be terminated. Although on the documentation, and um, to do this, I, I created a, an S1 database, a standard S1 database. It's, it's a small one, it's only 20 DTUs. And according to the documentation, the only limitation we have is the total size of the TimDB, which is 14 gigs in this case. Um, so outside, like almost 14 gigs, of course. Um, uh, uh, documentation does not mention anything about a limitation per session, and it shouldn't be limitation per session. Actually, the only limitation that we should have is, o is only per TimDB usage as a whole. Um, anyways, to prove this, so what I, what I did is created this uh, Azure SQL database, as I told you, it's a uh, standard S1. And then I created um, some silly transactions just to generate as much as I can uh, uh, a location in the TimDB. So basically here, this is very important because I'm using isolation level repeatable read. Why repeatable read? So when I'm opening a transaction, my allocations per statement will not be deallocated after the statement. If I'm not using repeatable read, if I'm using read committed, then after the first transaction, there will be deallocation, and then the second tr transaction, and then, sorry, after the statement, after the first statement, there will be deallocation, and then the second statement, and deallocation, and so on and so forth. So, so to keep the allocation throughout the lifetime of my transaction, I'm doing this using repeatable read. Then beginning my transaction, uh, loading some data into temp tables, rebuilding some indexes using the TimDB, adding more data to temp tables, and then I'm not closing my transaction, I will keep it open. So let's start this. I'm not expecting to see any data. This is session 126. So here I'm using the DMV uh, DMDB session space usage, which will give me the, the, the space usage per session, and I'm targeting my session, which is 126. Now, one thing that will happen, I'm not expecting to see any results until I finish my, my uh, uh, statements, all of them, and then I will start reading the data here. I'm trying to get the user allocation page count, and then I take this number and then convert it to gigs, and that will be the allocation in gigabyte. The transaction will take time, will take actually long time because uh, I'm, I'm using uh, a very small database. So I'm gonna pause the video for now. And then when we get back, we will see the result of this. And we are back. So the query just finished. And if I look at the uh, metrics for the DTU, we had high utilization here. Let's go back here. Everything finished correctly. We don't have any rollbacks. We don't have any errors. And if we are looking here for the query uh, of the DMV, I see that we have a location of 8.25 gigs uh, of disk space on the TimDB. And this is the number of pages allocated. As, as you can see, the, the DL location is very low because until now the, the transaction is still open. So I open my transaction at the beginning here. And because of my solution level, everything is still allocated. That will roll back. So if you look here, this is the number of allocation. This is the number of deallocation. Let me zoom in. So the deallocation is very low. However, if we go back and roll back the transaction, or commit, doesn't matter. And let's repeat this here. couple of times just roll back now and looking here you see we have the deallocation happened okay so with eight gigs of uh, disk space of the TimDB allocated per one session we don't have any rollbacks we don't have any issues with this so uh, I think this claim of five gigs is not correct